Hello everyone, this is Taryn with Wonderfully Made Handcrafting and I have the newest kit from By the Wall for God called Hints and Whispers. This is September 2023's kit and I can't wait to dive in and show you all this kit has to offer. Um, there is so many beautiful things in this kit. It is absolutely stunning. So let me start off with the kit itself and we'll do the little goodie bag as well. So let me move this off to the side. And let's do this goodie bag because it's going to have some information. If I can find the opening, there it is. Sometimes these bags are so well packed that it's hard to see. Okay, one thing at a time, basically. Okay, so what we have in the goodie bag this month is you have your little card. So the hashtag to follow this month is BTW4G underscore hints and whispers. Today um, or this month we're talking about um, the Old Testament and seeing where Christ is in the Old Testament. And um, we have a little sneak of next month's kit. It looks like we have some anatomy stuff. It says fit for the master's use. Um, and I believe it's talking about how um, our spiritual wellness and how we can do better with that. So we have some anatomy with florals and stuff. I think it's really pretty. Um, I can't wait to see this kit as well. Um, so that is your little mini postcard. You also have a little stamp. Um, so this is a bridge and a little wispy little curls and admins that you can add for, um, you know, your alphas or whatnot. I also thought it'd be really cute um, as little smoke coming out of chimneys that you'll see in a second. Um, so this is the little goodie stamp. You also have some um, journaling cards and fabric. Um, so this is a verse card and you have some fabric attached. I'm not gonna take that out right now. And then your journaling cards, like I said. So there's a bunch of verses on one side that you can use or you could use the back side. So these are really beautiful because I love how they are, you know, toned down a little bit really fun for clusters and I love this little country house that we have going on this month. Then you have your um, mini tile alpha and also a label sticker sheet and then if you're wanting to know the little extra um, this is the thank you for being one of the first 300, 300 orders over $50. I can never get that right. Um, it's a little spritz um, things so you can make your own spray with some ink or you can make it sparkly even. Um, I haven't used one of these yet before so this will be fun to make my own spray. So that is part of the goodie bag this month. Let's jump into this kit hints and whispers. Um, if you are on a budget or if you're new to Bible journaling basically this is all you need. Um, but all the extras are really fun as well if you want to pick them up. Um, but the kits always come in a canvas bag. The only other things that I would suggest you grab is, sorry, um, some stamping ink. I love Versafine and a stamp block. Um, also, maybe a little uh, paintbrush or whatnot to use the Daniel Smith watercolors that come alongside this kit. So first off, let's talk about this devotional. Um, this one was written by Judy Allen. She is an amazing writer. We have 14 days of devotion. Then you also have your bibliography in the back. Um, I always like looking at this. Um, but 14 days so that you can uh, read one day and do uh, some artwork the next day. That's the idea. Um, like I've said before, I usually read it all in one sitting at first and highlight all the verses and match up journaling cards and flashcards with those days so I don't miss out using them. And then I will walk through the kit day by day as the month goes on as well. So I get at least two readings of this devotion and um, they are always chock full of scripture and so good. So this is Hints and Whispers. 
Then we have your kit stamp. So this month we have a fox. Um, we have hints and whispers and also an ampersand. You have some beautiful books, Holy Bible, hymns, and concordance down here. Some really cute strawberries and a mason jar. I think this is so beautiful. Um, so that is the kit stamp. There's a little sneak peek of what you could do with it. And I love this handwriting. I think we're going to see this later on. Then we have this little package. So you have journaling cards. Oh, they are vertical this month, which is different. So you have your little tabs um, with a verse card right there. Then you have your um, Daniel Smith watercolors. Like I've said before, these are super pigmented. Um, so you only need a very little amount. Um, there's some instructions on the back side of that. You have your Hints and Whispers kit sticker. You can put this in the front of your Bible or on a TN so you know what you're working on or what that TN is working through. Um, and then we have your journaling cards. So like I said, these are vertical this month. Really pretty. Look at that. I love the back sides. Um, and this is beautiful as well. So we have John 1.14, Deuteronomy 32.4. And first Corinthians, or sorry, first Corinthians 10, 11. Then you have some clear stickers. So these are faux washi. So they're not going to rip like regular washi. So you're going to want to, you know, use your scissors if you want to make a jagged edge. Um, this is that same bridge that came in the goodie bag. If you spent a certain amount and these neutral florals just have my heart. Look at these, the pink. Um, it looks like a French provincial kind of look. Then you have these ones with some mushrooms and strawberries. I am in love. Um, then you also have your alphas and numerics. Um, the pins are still not able um, to be purchased. So they are giving you an extra numeric instead. And then don't forget about using this. This is the little backer that comes in the um, pack. And that is a fun way to add some more paper. So that is what comes in the little um, extra bag in the kit. And then let's look at these die cuts. So this month you're getting a little um, string, hemp string um, for your uh, texture. And then let's see if I can get these out. So you have some letters, you have, this reminds me so much of a book I read as a kid. Um, I think it's called Mrs. Mouse's New House, but a slow mouse that makes a house in a teapot and there's berries and whatnot. So anyways, it reminds me of my childhood and I love this little ephemera piece of the strawberries in the teapot. You also have these houses, I believe there are a couple of them, yes. There's another house, a little um, fall look to them. You have a basket with bread and florals, a bee, a key. Here's those blue kind of um, French provincial look right there. You have some trees, an owl that is pretty. Little strawberries, I love, and florals. Mason jar with bees and florals. Some more florals, a tree, this one, so pretty. Fox and books, a little terrarium, florals, oh, another blue little French provincial thing, um, another house, strawberry, bee, and little uh, tree and floral. So that is the ephemera that comes alongside this kit, but there is another ephemera pack. So let me grab that. So this is the other die cut set. Um, this one includes 27 different pieces and um, they are equally as beautiful. So you have almost a little berry wreath. You have this cute little frog with mushrooms. 
I love this one. So you have that, you know, tone on tone green um, tree with the people down here on the bottom. You have some more florals and berries and flowers. Um, you have this little bridge kind of thing um, with birds and trees, yellow floral, more florals, a little basket of apples, I believe. Some more florals. This one, let's see. Oh, it's a little hat. That is cute. Some florals. A little corner floral where you can make a pocket. Another tree. Some more trees. Then you have, I like this little bunch. This is a swing. Oops, I missed a flower. <laughs> and then a door, love this one. That is pretty. Another tree and some more flowers. So that is what comes in the extra die cut set. Um, so completely different from the kit die set and equally as beautiful. So put those there. Then we also have some flashcards. A lot of people love these for word studies. There are two sets. Each set will go completely through um, the devotional but have different words. So they kind of bounce back and forth. So there'll be multiple for day ones um, and then you know day two, day three, whatever. So both sets will go through each of the days. So you have this hound's tooth look for this set. Backside looks a little bit lighter. And then as always, you have your barcode, have a little piece of extra paper you could use. I love using those because they are um, just a smaller design. Then you have a floral set of flashcards. Um, some being really colorful, some being, you know, one toned colors. These are beautiful. And then this paper has that kind of cloud look that you'll see in a second. So these are the two flashcards for this month. Move those to the side. Then we have something new. We have slides. Um, I love using slides. I have um, a slide die cut from the um, Tim Holtz specimen die set, but I love these and these already have, um, let me show you a different color that will be a little bit more apparent. Um, they have the little brads in them for you. So you can add them on top or you can just use um, see the paper brads right there so you can use those so you don't have to have the real brads um, to get that same look but there are a ton of slides that was stuck to my table <laughs> so you have some that are patterned um, and then you have some that are more plain so what I like to do with this is use acetate in this section right here and then a lot of times I'll use a clear sticker, um, like a butterfly or something. Um, so you'll just fold it. You can even cut out this back side so you can see through the slide. So that is my preferred way to use it. Um, but these are so cool. I love that we have started including these. Um, I'm not sure if these are going to be a staple or if they are just for this kit. Um, I'm not gonna try putting them back in. Um, but these are really cool as well. There are a lot of other stickers and paper extras that you can pick up. Um, so first off, we have the journaling cards this month, which are little postcards. Um, so let me grab these out. There we go. My fingers weren't wanting to work. So you have like a postcard on one side with even that little stamped barcode. And then the other side is a little bit more neutral with um, different looks. So you have four um, looks with three cards each. 
So those are journaling cards this month. I always love using them for layering and adding my own notes. They also go wonderfully through a typewriter. You have your mini tile alphas. So this is the pack of five. So you have almost like a dark forest green, a red, a blue, a light pink, and then a gray. So those are mini tile alphas. Then you have your labels. You also get five of these. So you have like um, a taupe maybe. It's like kind of grayish brown. And then that tattered rose color again. Um, kind of like uh, orange terracotta almost. And then blue and green. So those are your five labels. Then we have your clear alphas. So you get seven of these. One's going to be that um, pattern. So it's like the pink florals in here. Then you have almost a mauve, a green. They like to stick together. A red, a mustard, a blue, and then a, like almost dark purple, almost a burgundy almost. So so those are your colors of clear alphas. Then we have, we'll save stickers for last, um, your mini file folders. So By the Love for God has been doing two different sides for, I think this is the second or third month. Um, and I love that. So you have two options. So you have the floral side or the green. So you could fold it this way to get more floral or you could fold it this way to have more green. Um, so you have the uh, pink floral, then you have uh, this watercolor look, love that with the gray keys with some kind of orangey florals, tone on tone. You have a damask print with a light blue. Then you have a quilted look, which is fun with pink, love this one with this cloud look. Then you have a brighter um, kind of collage of butterflies and florals with a blue hound's tooth. And then look at this one, guys. Um, this is like a pink French provincial fabric kind of look. I don't even know what the fabric's exactly called, but I love this look. And then kind of a darker pink. So those are your mini file folders this month. Always fun to use. Um, let me just put them back here so I don't get them mixed up. Then you have stickers. So you have the regular size stickers and mini stickers. Mini stickers are great for using in those pocket Bible kits and um, also planners. A lot of people use them for that. And then there's some fun things in the regular size stickers as well. Let's grab these open. So you can make your own ephemera like I do. I usually put these on some white paper um, and then fussy cut them out and I have even more ephemera to use. But if you want them to melt into your page, then you can definitely just stick them on. And most of the time you can see through them um, through words unless it's a really dark color. Sorry, I don't know why I flipped it over. Um, but you have these florals, you have these blue tone on tone, love this. Then you have, ooh, that's pretty, forest with the owl up there. Then you have some washi tapes. That's really cool. Oh, I love this. Washi tapes and like faux wax seals. You could even add some glossy accents to these to make them look real. And then you have the names of the um, like devotional days. So those are your bigger stickers. Then you have your mini sticker pack. So you get eight mini clear stickers in four different um, four different um, sets. So like there's two of each. So you have these ones. Then you have those. Some more florals. And then you have kind of more blue and trees and florals. So those are the sets of the mini stickers. I also like using them on the side. Um, I use an interleaf Bible, and so I like using them 
on the side of the verse so that I can know where that is and draw attention to that. I also picked up journal set number two. So you have, well, I'm not gonna open it, but you have that damask print and then this watercolor look, super pretty. I love using these journals for notes, for budgets, um, for everything, basically. They are always, you know, everywhere around my house. I have basically a notebook for everything. Um, I have one for the retreat I'm working on and one for other projects. So um, these are always great to pick up. Okay, let's talk about um, stamps next, I guess. So these are your five um, add-on stamps. So with add-on stamps, you can pick them up alongside your kit. Um, if you pick up one, it drops it down to $12. If you pick up two or more, it drops it down to $10 each, which is a steal of a deal um, because these normally run $15. They are great quality. And by the way, for God, always tries to put the most stamps um, as possible on this four by six sheet. So first one is called Bear Witness. You have a little um, letter or postcard. You have a mailbox some other things um, like mail, a little strawberry wax seal, um, a pile of mail and letters and two keys. Those, um, that's your little sneak peek of how you might want to color those in. Then you have Cozy Cottage. Love these fun little houses. Um, you also have some birds and some words. Um, concealed and revealed and also little stars oh and little fence that is cute um so that is your uh, little sneak peek of what you could use that to look like then you have define this and i actually wanted to double check real quick um i believe these yes will fit on labels Mm, the only one that might not is this one. This one might be a little long. Yep. But most of these um, should fit on a label. So there are definitions of anti-type, metaphor, correlation, glimmering, hint, whisper, inkling, illusion, sign, and analogies. So... You also have some hearts and some exclamation points there that you can use as well. Um, but that is called Define This. Then DIY terrar Terrarium. Wow, I cannot speak today. Uh, <laughs> but you also have some really cute little strawberries. I don't know what I like about strawberries right now, but they're really cute. Mushrooms, some ferns and florals. Really cute. So that is an idea for that. And last one, you know I love um, cottage floral. So you have that background with the, the letters and some really cool ferns and um, floral and greenery. So love this one. This is going to make a great background. So cottage floral. Um, don't forget also that By the Wolf of God includes little verses that you could um, get some ideas to stamp these with. Um, I always kind of forget to mention that. Um, but these are your stamps. So yeah, if you want them, grab them when the kit releases because these are not guaranteed to come back. And once they sell out, they might be gone for good. And a lot of times they sell out within a day. So make sure to grab those if you want that. Um, you also have some stencils this month. So you have Deep Forest. I think this would be really cool to make layers upon layers of um, like a forest look. Uh, so you could start with, you know, a darker green, lighter and go lighter as the page comes closer to you. You also have raining keys and then your one that you can use, you know, all the time. Well, a lot of these you could use all the time, but they have two that definitely go alongside this kit. And then one that's more of a pattern usually that they're doing the, um, this time where they're, you know, trying to release three a month. So two with the kit, one just pattern and that is Stitch Town's Tooth. Definitely goes alongside this kit, but I can see it used in any day kit. So those are your stencils. And then the last thing we have is this beautiful paper. Um, Laura and I don't know if Tom worked on it, but I know whoever worked on this did 
a fabulous job this month. I am absolutely in love. They always do a great job, but this is like my style. <laughs> so it's like gorgeous to me. So I absolutely love this scene. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to use it yet, but this is beautiful. I love this. It looks like a farm with mountains in the back and this, I don't know, it's perfect. Um, so you have that and then you have this clouds with almost um, like a glittering gold kind of look. So you have those. Let me move this over. Then you have your pink florals with a plain pink. I love how they're doing um, more plain colors on the back side of these. So you can stamp on them or die cut them out. I think that's a great idea. You also have some mushrooms, kind of a little nod to last year's um, September, September, October kit. Um, we had mushrooms. I loved that kit as well. Twisted Scripture, it was called. Um, that is a great kit as well. I love these. And then some ferns with some handwriting in the background. Then you have a more neutral floral, kind of orangey and browns with the keys. Then you have this little... Um, a fabric looking scene. Um, so beautiful. I could just stare at this forever. I am in love. Um, and then blue houndstooth. Then you have a houndstooth in the background of this with the watercolor flowers. And sorry, the back side is a gray, has some texture to it as well. Then you have the blue and pink with the butterflies with that handwriting. Look at that. Oh, love this. So excited. And then lastly, you have this watercolor floral with a damask on the back. So those are the um, papers for this month. Usually I'm more so about the neutral side, but this month I am all about these scenes and everything. It's just it's totally my thing. So um, that is it. That is what I have to show you for this new kit. I will leave on the screen what day it is being released because I am pre-recording this. Um, but you definitely don't want to miss out on this. Um, By the Well for God, it does an amazing job with their devotionals. Um, so even if you're just picking that up, that is totally worth it because these devotionals are so jam-packed full of scripture. I absolutely love working with this company. Um, so yeah, definitely check this out. Make sure you grab it when it is released. You won't want to miss out. And I will leave all my links down below. Those are affiliate links. So they do give me um, some kickback back from your purchase, but they do not cost you anything extra. It just helps me and my family. So thank you so much for those of you that use that. And I hope you have a wonderful day and happy shopping.